Hello everyone, welcome to the third installment of the most rare and expensive AG items. Uh, I didn't mean for this to be a series, but I find it quite interesting, so it's a series now. Anyway, let's take a look at the rare accessories. First up is Molly's Christmas accessories. Now these aren't rare, but what is rare is the little snow globe you see at the bottom of the picture. This, the glass would break in the cold weather, so they would often have to replace it. And so finding one of the original snow globes, you know, that isn't broken and that was actually sold is incredibly hard to find. I learned this from I Dream of jo Johnny, so um, can't recommend him enough. That's where I got the information for this set. Now, I don't know about you, but I didn't know that Josefina even had a piano, but apparently she did, and it is extremely hard to find because one, it is a big item, and two, I, I mean, I've never seen it in any of the catalogs, have you? As you can see here, it goes for about $600. It, it looks pretty cute, actually. I like this item. Now, I feel like this is one of the more well-known ones. This is Molly's Route 66 accessories. And I think these are adorable. The little camera is so cute and it comes with little photos. I think it is so sweet. Of course, the set wasn't out for long, so now it goes for around $400, $500, which is insane. But if you can find it for a good deal, I think not only are these cute and useful items, but they're also worth quite a lot. In the last video, we talked about her very expensive outfit. And so, of course, the accessories go with the outfit. Okay, so these are Kirsten's 4th of July accessories. As you can see, they go for about $300. And honestly, I don't know why. They're not that exciting. There's some honey, a flag, and a little thing. I don't know what it is. But they are very expensive and hard to find. So if you do find them, you might as well get them. Keeping on the theme of Kirsten, here is her school bench. Um, another item I didn't even know existed, this one is a little bit cheaper, so it is easier to find. But I honestly didn't know this was ever a thing, I've never seen it in any of the, like, magazines. But it's pretty cute, uh, I like it, it's very, um, folky. This is Addie's cutter sled, another item I've never seen before. This one goes for around $200 to $300. It's pretty cute and I think it is very useful. The design of it is adorable and I'd highly recommend it. This is Addie's band box. Uh, another one I've never seen before. I feel like I keep saying that like a broken record. This one goes for about $30. So if you want a rare item from Addie's collection, this is definitely one to buy. These are Samantha's summer accessories. They are adorable. That little pillow is so cute, and I think the little paint set is pretty adorable, too. This is one of the earlier items in her collection. I couldn't find for how much it goes for, but it goes for quite a bit from what I've heard. Anthos doll retired in 1994, so it is not that hard to find, but finding one of the older ones from 1996 to 1997 is definitely harder to find. Uh, my dog is playing right now, so if you can hear him in the back of this recording, I apologize. This set is crazy to me. It is a real gingerbread house that is doll size that you could make and buy. This is Samantha's real gingerbread house set. And I did read her book over Christmas break this year, and the gingerbread house was a big part of it, so I am glad that it is a set. But the fact that it is in plastic or wood and that it is real is insane. Lastly, this is Kit's waffle iron set. It is probably the easiest and least expensive one to find. But I honestly think this might be my favorite of all the sets. I didn't know this one existed and Kit is one of my favorite historical dolls. So I would highly recommend it. Look at how cute the little waffles are in the iron. I think this set is adorable and it is part of her Christmas collection. And I know that those collections are very popular, so if you want more for the Christmas season, you should get them. That is all I have for today. Let me know what your favorite rare sets were, and if I missed any of the ones that you love. I have no idea what I'm going to do for the next video, so see you then!